Hello? What would you like me to do? So, it's you again. I know, because you never say a word. It reminds me of the ocean. Your calm breaths. Like the faint sound of waves. You know, I used to love the beach. So what should I tell you this time? Oh, it was snowing today. It's strange what triggers our memories. I'll never forget. That night, for the first time in 120 years, snow fell on Santa Destroy. It was a sign. Another change, both beautiful and deadly, was coming. Help you find something? Blanketed in white, the city never looked so beautiful. But anything so pristine must be cursed. White turned to red, and he lost his mind. Nah, we're just here to collect. Travis! It's called fashionably late fuckface. Travis, touchdown. This place bring back any memories? It's only where my last killing spree started. All those screwed up ranking fights. Now why would I remember that? It'll be your blood this time, when I avenge my brother! Draw! Brother? Who? Don't you remember the man you fought here? Um, no. Can't say I do. Guess he didn't make an impression. Must have been crazy weak. You insensitive prick! You killed him and you don't even remember! You know how humiliating that is? Sorry. I don't keep a death diary. And in case you're wondering, I'm even stronger now. You will lose! You've got no chance of winning this. <clears throat> You're something else. I haven't been so worked up in ages. When you see your bro in hell, tell him he's still a douche! slob, I see. Sylvia? Is that it? You gotta be kidding! Sometimes you have to look at things from different angles. Now, may I? This man was the 51st ranked assassin. Since you've killed him, that officially makes you 51st. And that means you are qualified to fight in the ranking battles again. So, how about it? If you're a real man, you'll do anything to climb back on top. 
Because trust me, the view is still very satisfying. Hold on. Why would I have to start from rank 51 this time? More competition. The last game's success made assassination trendy. Yeah, but I already fought my way to number one before. Shouldn't I get a special fast track to the title fight? No, but you will get a special prize. Shut up. You can't bribe me this time. I've already tasted those goods. But just a taste. This time, you'll get the five-course meal. Five course? Mm. Wait, I don't get what that means. Did you know I am a yoga master? Hmm? You, you don't say. Are you familiar with any yoga positions? Like, uh, down... Downward dog? The dog can do all sorts of things. So can the cobra, the rabbit. C cobra? Rabbit? Like together? Oh, hold on. Oh yeah! I'm in it to win, baby. Number one, here I come! Hey! We're not done yet. I've got a message for you. Oh my, he's still alive. Pain in my ass. Why aren't you dead yet? Such blind arrogance. Like the naked emperor. Seriously? I cut off your head? Travis! You are the loser. This fight was only part of our plan. Our plan? I said I'd avenge you killing my brother, didn't I? Well, who's been a brother to you? What? Travis. Don't think you can kill without suffering consequences. To kill someone is not simply to end their life. One must risk their entire being in order to destroy another's. Up until now, you've had it easy. I've taken the curse you gave me, the shackles of revenge, and I'm throwing them back on you. Now it's your turn to be burdened with another's death. It has destroyed me, and it will destroy you, too! This is the ultimate vengeance! You mean your best friend? The shopkeeper? Sylvia, I want to make a deal. I'll conquer the rankings, fight whoever it takes. And in return, you find me the assholes who killed Bishop. Calm down. You shouldn't make this personal. It is the quickest way to lose a battle. This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Fine. It makes no difference we... The mastermind behind Bishop's death is the owner of Pizza Bat. This building? Most of this city? He is the head of the corporation that runs it all. Jasper Bat Jr. And as fate would have it, he is also the number one assassin. You better not be lying. It is a fact. The object of your revenge is waiting at the top of the ranks. Wonderfully convenient, don't you think? Sure is. There's a new hotel on the beach. The 50th ranked assassin is waiting for you there. By the way, Bat Junior owns that hotel too. He really is everywhere, huh? Better hurry. There are 50 other fighters trying to kill him. You have no time to waste. 
Just sit back, Sylvia. And watch the hell I'm gonna raise. Fuckhead! Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? Bad answer. This must be karma. Travis Touchdown. Spare me the mystic crap. I came here to fight. I see the rumors are true. I don't know who's talking about me, but that nickname's all right. Listen to me, your highness. These rankings mean nothing to me. Neither does my sect or the mob. My only true calling was to clash swords with you. That's why I joined this contest. I was starving for a worthy fool. Then you're in luck. Because I'm as worthy as it gets. And I've got a shit ton of anger to work out. That's what I like to hear. This is it. This is what I've been praying for. I'm weary of this gilded world. Oh, glitter. No soul. Save me from sorrow, crownless king. Thy sword and thy wrath will deliver me. Uh, you should go easy on that crazy punch. How about I just cut you a new one? We'll both do as divinity commands. Halle fucking Luya. He was the leader of a religious cult. Taking advantage of people's sorrows, he used his music to lure followers. He spoke of a grand faith, but his words were hollow. It was all to satisfy his own goal. He'd only found success because of strong financial support from the new Mafia, who used his pulpit to gain support for their own agenda. Many believed he was just a tool of an up-and-coming gangster. But the real goal that drove him? <laughs> That's a secret. Just 49 left. This is gonna take a while. You were spectacular. Better hurry. Like you said, I don't want anybody getting to that bat bastard first. Look at you, Travis. Violence is the only way you can express yourself, no? Oh, I'm in the zone, baby. Nothing's gonna hold me back. Good. I'll arrange the next fight. It's going to blow your mind. Can't fucking wait. This is Diane from Beefhead Videos, just calling to let you know that one of the videos returned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy humping a pillow. The video you should have returned was um, How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 2. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. Travis, it's me. Who am I killing? You'll see. It's definitely going to be unusual. Come to my office. I have forwarded the directions to your map. I'm busy, so hurry up. So, this is the UAA office? Surprised? Didn't think it would be so fancy. Considering the nature of your work. I'm an agent. Anything less would be uncivilized. Now, take a seat. Let's get started. Right. So, who's next? Charlie and his groupies. Groupies? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks. 
If I told you now, I'd ruin the surprise. Go see for yourself. Fine. Whoever they are, I'll make sure they get a nice close-up of my bean katana. All you feel is ecstasy when you kill. It's like you're getting off. Seriously. You need help. Everybody deals with grief differently, right? Some people fuck at funerals. I cut off heads. Do what you must, Travis. Touch you down! <laughs> A butt kicking day to you all! Especially you, Cupcake! Mr. Touchdown, it's an honor to face you. Man, I love your name. You gonna fight me with all your hoes? That's my game, but we need a better arena, don't you think? Huh? Let's go, ladies! Santa Death Parade! <laughs> I thought something like this might happen. Time to bust out the toy Naomi made. Making his long-awaited debut... Glastonbury! Let's pop! my style. Gotta admit though, this does have a bad aftertaste. Ripping through a bunch of mostly harmless cheerleaders? Well, I could nullify your victory. Whoa, whoa, wait! I mean, they weren't that harmless. You can tear some shit up with a pop -up. Good answer. By the way, the UAA will now confiscate your robot. The hell you will! It is too big, and it is a public nuisance. You gotta be kidding! Man, I had this baby custom made, too. Travis! Don't forget, you are not the only assassin clawing up the ranks. Being 25th means there are just as many below as above, and they all want you dead. So watch your back, okay? Yeah, yeah. Your next fight is arranged. You know what to do, yes? I've updated your map. Handle the rest yourself. Whoa there, Ice Queen. 
What's with the harsh treatment? I do not have time to waste on 25th rank scrubs like you. Take a Whoa. hit! You impotent dipshit! Huh? I like her better when she's horny. <laughs> Psychotic fucker. Time for a little pro bono ghost busting. What's a kid doing here? I am born to kill you. What's that? <laughs> this is a problem with fighting the supernatural. You cannot kill someone who's already dead. Already dead? Okay. Are you on the pipe? Such a horrible past. Thirty years ago, that child was abandoned, left to die in this house. As the story goes, he made a pact with the devil with his final breath. Revived through the dark arts, the child murdered his parents and now rules this forest, feeding on suffering and hate. All assassins have fucked up somehow, or we wouldn't be in this profession. Nothing surprises me anymore. Now you are ranked 24th. Still a ways to go until the top. You are not getting tired? Huh. I haven't even broken a sweat. Why don't you bring me a real challenge? <laughs> You've got it. Travis, it's me. I have set up your next battle. Check out the map and go when you please. Oh, and by the way, until you crack the top ten, you are responsible for all travel expenses. The association can't pay for everyone with the price of gas and all. You got it? Hold up, I'm shelling out all this cash and you can't spring for bus fare? I'm busy, got to go. Don't hang up on me. Oh. So the damsel's in here. Chicks put out for their rescuers, right? You know, you're lucky I don't have a bondage kick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. What was I thinking? She's definitely not a broad I'd want to hook up with. Don't say that, handsome. Actually, you're just my type. Thanks, but no thanks. 
You'd be even more dashing if you were writhing in agony. Come closer to me. Huh? Show me your face twisted in pain. My body! Interrupting your time abroad, but will you fight for Travis? Sure. I'm eager to kill, so hurry with the details. Straight to the point. I like that. Can you handle two of our top ten? Only two? That's nothing. Why don't I just take them all? You've grown confident. Yeah, but not overconfident. Unlike you, I can see myself objectively. Creepy little girl. Don't forget your promise. Double cross me, and you're dead. You cannot kill me, silly. You're not worth the stain on my blade. Ooh, that was Queen. Wait, who was that? Um, uh, who? Is that person? Uh, nobody. He's just the, uh, newspaper delivery man. Taking the emergency exit is faster. Hey, that's true. The paper boy's a genius. I know, right? Anyway, let's talk about the rules for your next ranking battle. Rules? Something's changed? Yes, the association resorts to this when there isn't much activity in the rankings, or when there are too many strong fighters, or sometimes when we just get bored. Mm. A battle royale. Battle royale? A fight to the death with 12 participants. If you win, you'll jump to the 10th rank. Damn, that's a twisted way to do things. You agents are becoming as fucked up as the killers you rep. Oh, we've always been fucked up, as you say. We just wear nicer clothes. Fucked up assassins working with fucked up agents. Huh. Doesn't get any better than this. Will you be the last man standing? No doubt. I'll kill them all in a flash. Damn, is it my turn yet? Uh, anybody work here? This is taking forever! Open the gate so I can kick some ass! Sensors suggest carnage level satisfactory. Who is my next victim? Question mark. Surprise gasp. You are identified as Travis Touchdown. Luck is an irrational concept, but your presence defies probability. Do you remember me? Question mark. What? I don't know who or what the fu- Wait a second. Oh yeah. You're that fifth-ranked freak Henry sliced up before I got the chance to. Affirmative. After near-fatal decimation, I had no choice but to take this modified form. Looks to me like you just gained a few pounds. Hardware was affected, but my pride was not. With determination levels maximum, I thought only of winning. 
it was meaningless, futile, illogical. But such is the curse of being run by a human brain. That brain also makes you talk a lot, doesn't it? Henry's the one who tore your shit up. But if you want to take it out on me, go ahead. All I desire is a duel with you. Desire level, 100%. Revenge on primary target was previously accomplished. Behold! Save dramatically. So Henry makes a cameo. Before fighting you, I elected to defeat UAA's formerly top-ranked assassin as practice sequence. This was same individual on whom I also desired vengeance. Efficient turn of events, do you agree? Question mark? Would you shut up? I just need to make one thing clear. I'm not gonna kill you because of Henry. I'm gonna kill you because your big metal ass is in my way. Devilish laughter. Activating main engine. I already know this routine. Three, two, one, fire! Battle fly! Boom! Crap! That was quick! Pretty fast for a tin can. Now it's my turn! Master, it's been a long time. Shinobu? How did... Wait, what did you say? Did you call me Master? I don't have time for apprentices. You have any idea how much pro wrestling is backlogged on my VCR? I came to tell you I got back safely from Asia. You should be happy. I didn't even know you left. Are you listening? I'm not your master. My only desire was to become strong like you, Master. So I trained hard, and I fought to become the champion of Asia. Here's my belt. No way. You won this? That's pretty badass. I was told the competition was heating up in Santa Destroy, and my Master was overburdened. Me? Overburdened? Who told you that? Sylvia. She said I should come back and help you. What? Who's that bitch think she is, my nanny? Listen up, Shinobu. This is my war. I don't need help from anybody. Well, the thing is, it's kind of too late for that. Huh? What are you talking about? I'll explain later, Master. But you should go to the bathroom first. Seriously, it's a long story. Fine, but I'm not your goddamn master. It's this bishop's grave. Yeah. Were you friends? Yes. We never met in person, but we knew each other well. We exchanged many letters, even though our countries and languages were different. We truly understood each other. I am very much indebted to him. He gave me courage. Oh, I'm just lumbering. Don't mind me. By any chance... Do you know his best friend, Travis? Of course. Excellent. In that case, would you please give this to him? It is from Bishop. This? It is a lot of things, I suppose. Knowing it is your hands, I can have peace of mind. Now, let me light some incense before I go. Thanks. I promise to deliver it to my master. Raise do. Yeah? Shinobu, the next match is ready. On my way. This better be good.
Who's there? Sorry, but I gotta make this quick. My opponent's a young girl? If you kill me, you can fight Travis. But that's a huge it. You talk a lot of trash for a child. But! Any last words? Just give me your name. When the gatekeeper to hell asks who sent you, tell him it was Shinobu Jacobs. Yes, sir. Enjoy your trip. What do we have here? A young lady? You know, it's dangerous coming to a place like this alone. You ought to be more careful. Seriously. Terrible things can happen. I see it on the news all the time. <laughs> Maybe that's why she came. It's what she wants. Two grown men to keep her company. <laughs> Horny slut. My master's got his hands full, so I'm taking his place. Not that it matters. The result's gonna be the same. I don't have time for this. You're taking Travis's place? Wow. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty disrespected. Just shut up and fight. Oh, listen to this whore. Acting like she's some kind of femme fatale. Shut up and fight, she says. She's really pissing me off. Seriously. And she's so rude. Reminds me of my complaining customers. Now, Travis, he knew how to fight like a gentleman. Sliced me in half, sure, but he did it with grace. I mean, come on. Put her there. Huh? You know, let's shake hands. Sportsmanship is paramount to a fair and clean fight. <sighs> Hurry up and shake! Dirty nympho. <laughs> Whatever. But which one? It doesn't matter. Your choice. The one that's throbbing. <laughs> Destroy Spark. What the? What? Ah! Was this supposed to spark? Ring? <gasps> Filthy skank! Make sure Travis gets your head in the mail! That's how I took them out. Destroy Man came back? Huh, didn't see that coming. He was an annoying prick, though. I'm glad he's dead. Again. I can kill more fighters for you. Whatever my master wants. Hmm? Master. Oh. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Pesky little cub. You can't kill me. Eat this. Must be having a nightmare. Hey, over here. Huh? I can't. I feel like that pervy teacher in a porn. Yeah. Wait. Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. The next sucker's all mine.
He had nothing left. I know that, but he was a true warrior, and you gunned him down like a thug. This is not some peewee karate tournament, Travis. You do not take bows and go home. You are an assassin, and killing is how you win. But I... But what? He fought honorably, so he wants him to be me? So he can come back stronger and cut you in half? You are developing a bad habit. First that dumb schoolgirl, now him? Just finish the job, or we will do it for you. These fights are not a sport. Shit. Forever. No way. We live together. I'll never leave. I'm going back. If you want to go to the other side, then I have no choice. I've got to kill you. Why don't you come with me? You like it there. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out! What the bloody hell? About time you woke up. Yeah. Are you the one who rescued me? I had a fight to win. You were just collateral damage. So get out when you can manage it. Until then, I've got some good shit on video. We'll see about that. <laughs> Forgive your big brother who's too much of a shite bag to thank you face to face. You're the big brother? <laughs> You're How do you know I didn't pop out which first? Which one of us popped out first? And the point is, there's no honor in getting rescued by my younger, big <sighs> brother. So I took it upon myself to proper kill Scott Gardner, Greg Cantrell, and Massimo Bellini. You've got to so be kidding me. Would you fifth. fucking people and stop no stealing my me. kills? This makes us even, as far as the rescue goes. You and I still have a score to box off, but that's another subject entirely. So don't get yourself killed till we have a chance to finish our fight. Damn it! Irish ass. He could at least have told me more about those assassins. And in case you were wondering, well, I took pictures of the three Skangers as souvenirs. How long is this you message? Just have to drool over them, because there's no way you can play through these fights. The game's stuffed full as it is. Pics came out nice, though. They'd probably make good wallpaper for your cell. Well, I'm out of things to say, so I'll hang up now. Hmm. Long message, isn't it? Hello? Travis, it's me. I have arranged the next fight. Come to my office. Gotcha. Take a seat. 
There's something I want to talk to you about. Another rule change? No, it's about Henry. I want to clear the air. Why? We are divorced now, you know. What's that got to do with me? I don't want to hear any of that shit. The last time when you and Henry fought each other? Yeah, I remember. You stopped us instead of letting us settle things for good, like men. But you don't know why I stopped you. I did not want you to have to kill your brother or die yourself. What the hell does that mean? You told me a killer wins by killing. Now you say you want us both to live. Make up your damn mind. They're our fights, and we know how to end them a lot better than some bitch in the box stand. Telling me not to kill. How many personalities do you have? <laughs> so what? You want revenge, right? Your opponents could not care less about that. Once I'm number one, these bullshit ranking fights are over. Got it? Assassins aren't tools. As fucked up as we might be, we're humans too. Know this song? Nope. How tragic. Then let me teach you. <laughs> Riveting melody, isn't it? Catchy as hell. Did you... Did you memorize the song? One hundred percent. That... is so... sublime. One more down. Three to go. Hi, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. We're calling to let you know that the video you returned was a copy of one of our video titles. Um, the best of raunchy amateur interviews, too? You didn't seem to copy the whole tape, though. It ended two minutes into the middle of the first interview. Anyway, please be sure to return the original tape you borrowed. Thank you. I've set up the next ranked battle. Check the map. The top three are pretty tough. Just try not to die, okay? Yeah. You've got to be... Mayday, mayday, mayday! Spaceship Vault to Mother! Do you copy? Please respond! Spaceship Vault to Mother! Like, I've been followed by an American? This is Captain Vladimir, entering emergency attack mode. Requesting backup for Volk. Transmitting present coordinates now. Huh? Oh, fuck! <clears throat> what the hell? I gotta fight a whole fucking space program now? Attack unsuccessful. Reacquire target and eliminate enemy. Volk, my ship. It's over, Captain. This... 
This is Earth? Yeah. Welcome home. So, I'm finally back. After all this time, fresh oxygen, blue sky, beautiful as I remember. Glory to the Soviet Union. You are now ranked third. Just leave him alone. Let him rest in peace. We must dispose of the remains. It's policy. Screw your policy. He's back with the Earth after who knows how long. You're not gonna suck him up with your damn vacuum. Hello, Travis. I have arranged the next match. Only two left. Win this, and that junior is yours. The duel will take place at a secret location. Secret? I don't have time for guessing games. It's the final Akashic Point. Look for the hero space. Sorry, that's all the information I have. Figure it out and get there. Damn you. Travis Touchdown, correct? Yeah, that's me. The No More Hero. How unfortunate. Right when I'm about to reach the top, you have to find me. I was hoping we'd fight after I became number one. Sorry to crush your dreams. I hate to do it, but I've got business with that son of a bitch. And I can't let you get to him first. Please, don't think of me as a nuisance. But I will make sure your victory isn't easy. My pride as the second rank requires that much. Honorable. I like that in a woman. I've seen a lot in my journey up the ranks. An endless cycle of violence, now broadcast as a spectator sport. Why, Travis? Why do so many assassins join if we are all going to end up killing each other in the end? Does it really matter why? To me, it does. It matters more than anything. We've all become trapped, don't you see? Addicted to the violence, to a life in the shadows. Once we join the ranks, we can never get out. Don't be stupid. If you get tired of the battles, just fucking quit! But that's why we all want to fight you. To learn your secret. Don't you get it? Get what? You are the crownless king, the one who got out. You reached the top. Then walked away. Well, I'm back now, aren't I? With you, it is different. You are the no more hero. Show me your passion. Release me from this cycle. Free us all in a crimson sea. You asked for it. Travis, you are incredible. Everything I hoped for. Tell me your name. Promise me you won't forget. There once was an assassin named Alice. I won't forget, Alice. You are now officially ranked second. See that? Now that was a battle. Look at this blood. We humans are alive, even if we are assassins. Doesn't matter if it's a video game, movie, drama, anime, manga, we're alive. People shed blood and die. This isn't a game. You can't just selfishly use death as your tool. This is Alice's blood. I bet you've already forgotten she existed. Same way you would have forgotten me. That's why I'm tearing down the UAA! Are you done bitching? You could never shut down the association. Fighting to be the best is human nature. It's evolution. 
Who are we to try and stand in its way? Fuck that. I want to be a hero, by my own standards. You need to wake up, Travis. Take your own goddamn advice. Travis, it's me. Are you ready for your last battle to the death? Yeah. You know where to go? It's close by. Hold on. Someone's at the door. It's my first time here, isn't it? A VIP just showed up. Talk to you soon. Sure. Sylvia, I can't figure you out. You don't like me? I didn't say that. But there's a lot of things about you I don't get. You lie. You're greedy. You're a fucking contradiction in heels. You hate me. Well, your personality kind of sucks. So you do hate me? I'm crazy about you. What do you mean? Fuck if I know. Downward fucking dog! Bert! There you are! Travis! Took you long enough! Thought the suspense was gonna kill me! How will he make his entrance? Is he emo or grunge? What's his fighting style? How's his broke ass face gonna look when he dies? So much hostility! Why? Why'd you kill him? Ironic question coming from an assassin! Did you honestly think you could take so many lives and never suffer retribution? Have you never even seen a kung fu movie, spy flick, or western? Shakespeare, for God's sake! If you wanted revenge, you should have come for me! Not only did you murder my father, but my two brothers as well. That is why I took your best friend's life. Makes sense, Travis. It's called poetic justice. Go to hell. Don't ever compare Bishop with your shithead family. So naive, Travis. If you have someone to protect, you will lose them eventually. See for yourself. Now you're feeling it. That's your life losing all meaning. You've got nothing left except this fight. Now I know you'll put all you have into this. You're gonna fucking pay! Yes. A fight to the death. Get angry. So angry you start convulsing. Now, draw your katana. I'll relish every moment, every second of this kill. May you savor your death as well! Enough! Let the final battle begin! Henry? Don't be deceived so easily. They're just replicas. Serious? Jeez. Well, aren't I a gullible idiot? These are pretty sweet, actually. Think I can take one of these home? After you kill him, why not? I'll handle his ring piece goons! Thanks, bro. No! No! Not yet! The show has just begun! And that 
That's a wrap. Uh, no, not yet. Now that's hideous. <laughs> Rich assassins pull the craziest shit. <laughs> Well, we almost got him. The rest is on you. Wait a second. You're already here. You might as well keep fighting. It's not happening, brother. I can't be associated with that travesty. I mean, I've got standards, for fuck's sake. Suit yourself. Now, I'm gonna get my revenge once and for all. <laughs> Come on, Prez. Unleash your hate, your anger, everything. I'll take it all and fucking kill you with it! Oh, fuck! Santa Destroy needs us. 